Animals are said to have an amazing sense of smell and sense to know when others are in trouble. It seems that they will never hesitate to help those in need, whether it is an animal or human. It is also said that the only animals that commit cruel acts simply for the sake of them are humans. Dogs, however, are basically the perfect creatures. This is the story of one wonderful dog who went viral and rescued a completely unexpected creature. It all started near Port Jefferson Harbor one sunny day. A man had taken his dog out to swim and have some fun. They frequently came out this way, and they stayed as long as they could. They liked this spot because it was usually pretty secluded and they could play without anyone interrupting them. The dog's owner made a video of their playtime together, and this is when their story changed from ordinary to extraordinary. Good boy, Storm, a man's voice says in the video, calling to a golden retriever paddling towards a brown lump bobbing in the water of Port Jefferson Harbor off Long Island. Taking it in his mouth, the dog hauls it towards the beach, a moment filmed by his owner on Sunday that has been seen by 4.5 million and counting on Facebook. If you squint in the video, you'll notice that what the dog was towing was much bigger than a ball or a stick. It seemed that the dog had spotted something in the water that was still alive. Some of the comments in the video made people wonder if it was perhaps a giant fish or even more horrifying, a human baby. Others were certain that it wasn't alive at all, but a coat or other piece of clothing that was just floating in the water. There were even a few facetious comments about the Loch Ness Monster even though they were obviously not in Scotland. However, when Storm got a little closer, it was clear that there was indeed a small animal in the dog's mouth. The lump was a fawn, which the dog dragged onto the sand. There it lay alive, but barely moving. There were so many questions about how a fawn could get into the water to begin with. Did it fall? Was it thrown in there by some cruel humans? Was it abandoned by its mother? Or was it simply curious and wandered into the water and got in over its head? No pun intended. Storm gently nudged the fawn's belly. It scarcely responded. He nuzzled it again. Nothing. He pawed at its tiny hooves. Then the video ended. The viewers of the video are left horrified that the tiny, innocent creature might not survive at all. There is no update on the video either. Perhaps it was meant to be simply that, a horrifying video, or perhaps it was meant to show that dogs will retrieve anything. However, the voice at the beginning of the video has now been identified and the full story has come out. Banish any thought that the dog, a six-year-old English golden retriever owned by Mark Freely, a personal injury lawyer from East Setauket, New York, might have simply been following his instinct to retrieve. I was there, and if anybody knows Storm, they know that's not in his heart," said Freely, who captured the moment on his phone while out with the Golden Retriever and his other, less famous dog Sarah, a rescued Border Collie. He is the most gentle, gracious dog you ever want to meet. They had been doing what they did every day out there, simply playing, when Storm began to act a little bit odd. He kept looking towards the water, and barking, and then looking back at Freely. Because the fawn was so far away, Freely thought that it was just something such as garbage floating in the water. He thought that Storm had perhaps noticed it, or it smelled funny, but he did not think that his dog with a heart of gold was actually about to save a life. After all, Storm was an energetic and curious dog, and he always looked around and barked at many things. As Storm kept standing at the edge of the shore and barking, however, Freely started to get the idea that there was indeed something more in the water than just garbage. When one owns an animal for a long time, they start to understand their ways, and Freely knew Storm was trying to tell him something. He just couldn't imagine what that something could possibly be. Given the fact that it just looked like a small brown coat floating in the water a good distance away. Freely, who also fosters rescue dogs and does pro bono legal work for a local animal rescue, said Storm eventually just jumped into the water and started swimming. Freely did not stop him because Storm had also done this many times before. However, when the dog made a beeline toward the brown floating object, Freely knew that there was something more than a coat there. He brought out his camera and started to film, knowing that something extraordinary was about to happen. As the viewers watched and Freely later described, Storm grasped the deer by the neck, just the way a lifeguard would put his arm over someone's neck and dragged him in. The poor little fawn wasn't even protesting. 
Storm was bigger than the baby creature, and it might, in another situation, be frightened of the big blonde dog coming towards it and then grabbing it by its neck. However, as mentioned above, animals truly have a sixth sense, and it seemed like the fawn knew that help had arrived. Either that or it was too exhausted to protest as Storm drew it closer to shore. In the video, Storm licks the deer's jugular. It was so touching, Freely said. It showed he really cared and was worried about the fawn. The animal stayed on its side for quite some time, and Freely knew that a tragic end might be coming. Freely said he left to get help. He called a group he knew, Strong Island Animal Rescue League. Frank Floridia, who runs the organization, arrived with leashes and nets. They could barely believe the extraordinary call they got, and they told Freely that Storm was an amazing dog. Freely hurried back to the site where he had left both of them. He had no fear that Storm was going to hurt the creature, and the poor fawn did not seem in any shape to just walk away. In some ways, Freely did not hope that the fawn would be gone before he got back, because otherwise he knew the situation might be quite bad. He hoped that the creature had not stopped breathing by the time he got back, especially after Storm had worked so hard to rescue it. He knew that even though Storm was a dog, he would indeed be quite upset if the poor little creature died. By then, the fawn had wobbled back up. It took one look at the men and the two dogs and darted back into the water, Floridia said. They are animals of flight. They're going to take off wherever they can go, he said. In a yard, they will smash through a wooden fence. The creature might have been badly injured, but it had seemed a bit stronger as it swam, and it seemed reasonably clear how it got out there in the first place now. Freely was worried that their heroic rescue would be for nothing. The fawn paddled out again, this time about 250 feet. After a failed attempt by Storm to fetch it once more, Floridia took off his shirt and, in his sneakers and shorts, swam out and grabbed the deer. Floridia had never gone swimming to rescue a fawn before, but he did not hesitate to think about it. He knew that the creature would never survive in the water, and he had to get it before it was too late. The three-month-old white-tailed deer had unexplained wounds on its head and one closed eye, he said. Floridia and his partner, Erica Kutzing, drove the deer to save the Animals Rescue Foundation in Middle Island, New York, where it was in a stable condition late Tuesday, said Lori Ketchum, a director of the organization. The fawn was being treated with antibiotics and was drinking baby goat formula from a bowl. Many fawns that are brought to the animal rescue, Ketchum said, are there because of dogs and not heroic ones. I think the dog did a very good thing, but I'm very realistic about what dogs do. Dogs tend to chew these little deer up, she said. The fawn will eventually be returned to the wild, she claimed, but it is recovering from many ailments, including subcutaneous emphysema, a condition in which air bubbles are trapped under the skin, making it feel like bubble wrap, Ketchum said. The illness can be caused by trauma. The idea that this poor little creature would have suffered so much trauma was heartbreaking. Being in a dog's mouth, Ketchum said, could be considered traumatic, but so could falling off a sandy cliff, the rescuer's leading theory of how the fawn got in the water. Perhaps it was a bit too curious, or perhaps it was being chased there. Pay no attention to the naysayers who may suspect that a dog chased it there. While it was a possibility, Storm would have likely smelled another dog on the fawn and acted a bit differently if that was the case. Officially, this was a wonderful thing that the dog saved the deer, Ketchum said. But I think if he was left to his own devices, the deer would not survive. Storm was indeed a hero, and everyone around him knew it. Storm had saved the deer's life, and he was so happy to do so. However, it wasn't the first time Storm had committed such a heroic act. He normally helped all the foster animals around Freely's house, and he was normally quite kind to other animals. Character witnesses for Storm include a parade of foster puppies the Freelys have taken in over the last month. They tortured this poor guy, Freely said, and he did nothing. The family's rabbit Speedo often sleeps on the dog's back. Although Storm adamantly refuses to fetch, Freely said, the dog seemed to know the stakes were high in retrieving the fawn. A dog with his need to retrieve spearheaded the rescue, said Kutzing, the animal rescuer. The details, she said, do not really matter, as long as the ending is happy. Dogs really do have a heart of gold, and they really do have the ability to sense danger. Storm was a hero in this case. Do you have a hero dog in your life?
make sure to share your story below. You never know when your dog could end up being our next hero.